Iwaki for our presentation today. Rock always helps. Okay, and gray wacky is made in the ocean, which is a high energy environment, and it is made out of sand and mud. And the sand is transported from transported from rivers that go into the sea. And the mud and sand are from pieces of weathered rocks. And the these sediments um, will eventually form into gray wacky while traveling through the water. And during this process the sediments thicken and get com compressed and condensed, or er, compressed and uh, cemented. And gray wacky is not well sorted because it contains rock fragments and grains. Okay, so how would you identify gray wacky? So gray wacky is a sedimentary rock, and while looking at it, you can see the stripes on the rock. And gray wacky is created of like an organic compound, and it's a type of sandstone, and it's created out of sand. And this gives it a luster that can be represented as dull, which is a lot of rocks that we saw at Point Bermuda. And the density of gray wacky is 2.65 grams per centimeter cubed. And sandstone gray wacky is a coarse grained rock, and it's not something that's fine grained, so it's a little bit of bumpy uh, edge. And um, the hardness scale of the rock is somewhere between six and seven, and the colors can vary because of the percentage of minerals inside the rock. So the colors of gray wacky and sandstone can be green, black, or gray, and all these factors help determine that the rock is sedimentary. And then where can it be found? So gray wacky is found at Baker Beach and at Point Bonita, which we saw yesterday and it can also be found at the Cliff House. Okay, so it's depositional environment for sandstone and gray wacky. So sandstone's dep depositional environment varies because of sand's low density. So that basically means that since sand has like a medium density or towards the low side, it's very easy for it to move around, which um, sort of helps us explain why sandstone can be located near like an igneous rock because sand can move very um, easily by like the wind or the water. And, um, but it can't move as far as like silk or like a finely like, grained material because it's coarse grained. And um, since sandstone has a lot of silica uh, and quartz, which are hard material, it makes it not so easy to weather down, but not too hard to weather down at the same time. And to further support this, the hardness scale is somewhere between six and seven, which also supports why it won't be super uh, hard to be weathered down. And what minerals are it? So the chemical composition of gray wacky is around 35% quartz, 30% feldspar, and around 12% phyllosilicates. Thank <laughs> you.